Guys, we are officially steps closer to the dream becoming a reality. I made a whole video talking about the best case scenario for the Knicks and the worst case scenario for the Knicks. And it's looking like all the stars are kind of aligning to help us make my best case scenario. Reports are coming out that the New York Knicks are looking to possibly trade up in the draft to get LaMelo Ball. You already know. It's not even a question at this point. And then now I'm also seeing reports that the Knicks are intrigued with Jalen Smith. Please. Look, if we're able to find a way to move our pick up, I don't know how it would be done that we can still keep that second pick in the first round and we can get LaMelo Ball and Jalen Smith or... With the new odds right now, we can solidify a top three pick in with lottery balls. Both those scenarios can make me a very happy boy. Although I'm not feeling very lucky when it comes to the draft lottery, but other than that, hearing the news that the Knicks are considering it, the Knicks are thinking about it, and the Knicks are open to trading up to get LaMelo Ball. That's all I need to hear. Just hearing that news makes me happy, knowing that it's a thing that can happen. <sighs> What's going on CK Crush Boy CK2K and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, don't forget to like this video. Guys, yes, I, this is this this is real. These are reports that are coming out that the Knicks are looking to make a move for LaMelo Ball in the draft if we so happen to not be in a place to pick a LaMelo within the top three of the draft. We're seeing a lot of these updated mocks having LaMelo going first overall still. I think that he is definitely first overall talent. I don't entirely believe that if the Warriors are the team going first of all that they're going to select LaMelo Ball, but the point of the matter is people still have LaMelo sitting at number one in this year's draft and i am not fighting them on that but to start us off we need to talk about this lamello rumor because according to mark berman the knicks are interested in lamello ball i mean honestly like i think that's not a secret we already knew that when they were talking about they want a transcendent point guard they want a ball moving point guard they want a scoring point la, 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 all that stuff was pretty much saying we want lamello ball so it's not a secret it's just to hear the words and to see the report just makes me happy to see. Does that mean anything's gonna come of it? I don't know. Just the fact that we're open to trading up to make that pick is nice. I wholeheartedly believe it's gonna be a lot like the Zion Williamson situation. If we are lucky enough to get pick number three, there we're probably not gonna trade that third pick to get the first pick. If we weren't gonna do it for Zion Williamson, I don't think we would do it for Lamelo Ball. Although I feel like the uh, the offer on the table would be a little bit more easier to attain this time around rather than Zion Williamson because every Everyone is so hyped and so up on Zion Williamson being a transcendent talent. As transcendent as he is assumed to be, there's still a lot of question marks around LaMelo Ball as of right now. So I think it would be a little bit more of a realistic move this time around to trade a pick. But again, if you get a two, three, or four pick, I don't think we would be trading up. I think that we would be hoping that LaMelo falls down to us, which I think, I don't know if that would happen. Now the article says that the Knicks currently have a 37.2% chance of landing a top four pick per tankathon but even if they do not land a high pick they could still position themselves to make a move for lamello <laughs> that's the kind of stuff i like to see it just makes so much sense to make a move right here for lamello ball i just feel like it's something we can do i think if it only costs us this pick and then one of these maverick picks to do, I, I, do it do, do it. it it's not even a question especially if we're lucky to get a fourth or a fifth or even a third pick if it's if it's something that we could consider they don't mind moving it up so we can get lamella ball early and then the warriors or whoever it is drop down just two picks to get them i say do it but I, again this is no secret to nobody you guys know that i am pulling and hoping that we get lamella ball i am not sitting here thinking that it's a done deal i know the history i know what's going to go on with the draft i know the 
chances of us actually getting them might not happen because that's just how the draft works with the Knicks. But I got to keep the hope alive. We need that point guard. We need that transcendent point guard. I know that there's excitement in next year's draft, but I feel like that could push us forward if we're able to get LaMelo Ball right now because I do believe that LaMelo will be a next level transcendent talent. I really do. I really do. I am ready to take all the L's and all the bashes for the rest of my life if I'm wrong. But I know that I will not be wrong in this one. I feel confident in that choice. So just hearing that news, like honestly, I, I, there's nothing else for me to say. Just the fact that the news is out there and that it's a thing that's being said and it's being written out in multiple articles that the Knicks are actually aware and they're looking to make that move that's all i care about because don't forget we're the same team that missed out on going to scout anything that he did overseas in australia we were not there for any of those of those games so i felt like the hope of us getting Lamelo ball was just a long shot and you know it sounded good on the outside looking in but the knicks weren't really genuinely curious about Lamelo ball but hearing news like this that's all i care about but what do you guys feel like do you guys feel like trading up to get Lamelo ball is stupid makes no sense we shouldn't do it or are you guys with me hoping that this is something that actually happens if i get a backcourt of the mellow ball and rj barry you can keep your little uh there's no shooting shit shut up if i get a backcourt of the mellow ball and rj barry all these same people talking about uh, no shooting i don't want to hear it when you're seeing some showtime on the fast break with all of our players seeing that lob by Lamelo ball to mitchell robinson you're seeing mitchell you're seeing rj barry and Lamelo ball making things fun again in the garden yes it's still going to be a rebuild it's still going to take some time but at least in the meantime, we will have a show to watch, and that is what we need. We don't have that player, and obviously, we have a start with R.J. Barrett and Mitchell Robinson, but until that man Julius Randle gets out of there, we're not going to see them fully unleashed, and I feel like with the mellow ball there, everyone's going to eat. So as I said earlier, I put up my best, worst, and whatever case scenarios, and I said that in my best case scenario, we get LaMelo Ball and we get Jalen Smith with that second pick in the first round, and it's looking like Jalen Smith is getting the eyes of the Knicks. Again, it's one of those things where we know it, but when you see it written out and you're seeing other people talk about it, that just makes you feel a little bit more at ease because you know that we can say a lot of things. We're all, we can speculate trade, speculate this, speculate this draft pick. But when you see that there's people within that are paying attention, you're hearing these kind of things, it just makes you feel a little more at ease. Like, all right, cool. So they're, they're thinking about it, all right? And to see this news that Jalen Smith is a possible thought for them to get in uh, with a later pick in the first round, I'm all for it. Jalen Smith, to me, would be a fun, fun talent. I feel like putting him next to Mitchell Robinson. Oh Who's scoring in the paint? And the fact that Jalen Smith is already a prototype power forward, a prototype big in today's game where he is a guy that has the ability to shoot, it just, it, it, it makes too much sense. Just seeing that report makes me happy. I just want to talk about that briefly. If you guys don't know who Jalen Smith is, do some research, watch some video, because Jalen Smith is a guy that does things like this. All right, so uh, after all that exciting stuff, let's talk about the stupidity. Next, let's talk about... This is LeBron James rumor. First of all, if you haven't heard me over on the fumble, not a fan of it. I don't think it's real. I think that this is a conversation that doesn't even need to be presented. We know that LeBron James decided to tweet this during the last dance last Sunday, knowing exactly damn well what he was doing posting that tweet. Thanks for nothing, LeBron. And then also there was a photo that went up on IG over by on the Make Nick's Great Again's IG account. And first of all, no beef for them. I got nothing against them because like I, I said it then and I'll say it now. If it were me seeing this, I would be just as upset, especially if you don't know who the people are in there. I'd be just pissed as pissed off seeing that that is something that's being talked about. But like I told you guys, told the people that were in that post, the context was me saying exactly what I'm saying right now. This is all a bunch of BS. <laughs> and I'll be honest, the only way I see this even be remotely real or a possibility of happening is if is if Bronny ends up being this talent that everyone expects him to be the Knicks draft him then I do think that honestly LeBron James would give the Knicks a, a shot he would go to the Knicks to go and play with Bronny personally I think it would be dope if he played against Bronny but I think that would be the only case only scenario where the Knicks 
you sign LeBron James. Other than that, this Mark Berman report to me is a wash. I don't like it, but I get what he's saying. He can't count out him wearing a Knicks jersey. And I get it. That's fair because LeBron James is very unpredictable with where he chooses to be a Nick. And I feel like a lot of scenarios could make him become a Nick at some point. But will it happen? No, it's not going to happen. OK, again, shout out to my man, make Nick's great again. No beef with him at all. I thought it was funny. People were adding me. Even people on there who knew me were saying something in the chat like, yo, that's CK, CK Wildin. Yeah, you, you guys know the real. I'm not going to sit in there and feed into that. But that's about everything that's going on in the Knicks world right now. A lot of rumors that was going on the last few days and i wanted to talk about it i got another video coming for you guys tomorrow it is a collaboration with another youtuber some of you guys might know him i'm very excited to have done this video with him so stay tuned to that video tomorrow that's coming out um it is not a nick centric video it's a basketball hoop video with another basketball youtuber stay tuned to see that video but you guys know the deal if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that notification bell like this video and i'll catch you guys in the next video get your merch boys get your merch i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out of here let's get it and peace make the trade lamello to the knicks baby Feeling like I won the lotto Always taking trips with a new chick Asking where the time go oh. And I wonder if this is all I'll know